Hey there everybody, Pelican Elite here, and I'm coming to you with some more Planet Side 2. So today we are going to be discussing a loadout I made entitled The Fortress. And this may seem like kind of a cliche name, but you'll soon figure out why I call it that. So before we get the video rolling, I would just like to say that this is only for NC, and I have not figured out what the TR and VS equivalent to this loadout would be. So if you want to figure that out, be my guest. So for this loadout, we are going to be using the EM-1 with either your choice of 1x night vision scope or you can just use a 1x scope. We'll be using a suppressor, a forward grip, and soft point ammunition. For our secondary weapon, we'll be using the NS-44 Commissioner with a advanced laser sight. We'll be using the default Shrike NC rocket launcher. For our ability, we'll be using nanite mesh generators. And for our suit, nanoweave armor. As for a grenade, default frag grenade, and medical kits. Alright, so now let's get into the specifics of this loadout and what kind of role you'll be playing if you make this loadout. So for our primary weapon, we're going to be using the EM-1 for several different reasons. I personally quite like this weapon because it has large ammo capacity, uh, considerably fast reload speed, and quite stable. And overall, I think this is an underrated gun, but I quite like it. As for the scope, it is personal preference, but I have found that 1x scopes are the most stable, and if you use anything bigger, it can start to uh, get too much of a kickback. We'll be using the forward grip because you will be firing at longer distances and we also need to make up for the suppressor which will considerably help you because you're going to be playing a support role. I mainly made this loadout so that you could fight in big battles along with other people because you aren't exceptionally beefy although you can make up for that. So the idea with the suppressor is it keeps you from showing up on the minimap, and the foregrip will compensate for that, and it will also compensate for the fact that you're going to be firing over long ranges. Soft point ammunition just sort of goes with that, helps the bullet drop so that when you're firing from longer distances, you will be better set. As for the NS-44 Commissioner, I just prefer this weapon overall. You can use it and close and medium, although it is a little harder longer range. As for the night vision scope, that's just personal preference, doesn't really matter. We're going to be using the Shrike because it has a, um, a more stable projectile speed, wherein if you get the decimate or something, it is going to have a farther drop. And because we are going to be firing at a max or vehicles from longer distances, you want something with less of a drop. As for ability, I just stuck with the default... Uh, mesh generator because you're going to be taking out individual targets and the chances of just plowing down a whole bunch of enemies is not as likely although you do have 100 ammunition so you may run into that it is your choice if you want to use adrenaline shield but I know that that can get expensive pretty quick as for the suit slot I just usually prefer nano weave armor and we won't be needing an abundance of anything else so that works for me Grenade, we are using the default grenade because, again, you're going to be from longer distances and the default grenade can be thrown from longer distances where you don't have to worry about it exploding on impact, it gets a few bounces in. Utility will be using the medkits in case there aren't any medics around to support you or just in case you get in a sticky situation in close combat. So, the idea with this loadout, like I said before, is it is a support role and you are going to be on higher fields. If you get good with this, you can go by yourself and you can single with this in a low pop area. It isn't always practical though because you can be outgunned in close quarters, especially if you're not good at hip firing because aiming down sights with this is not always going to work great. So overall this loadout is um, centered more for new players and players that are looking for an inexpensive loadout that has a specific objective. The EM1 is only 250 certifications. As for the cosmetics, those are 100 certifications each. You'll be using the default Shrike, 
which won't cost you anything. Your mess generator is your default, although I would suggest upgrading that a few times. And as for the nano weave, you can upgrade that up to 150 certs, and after that it is a thousand, but even just upgrading it to level four is good. The grenade is your default, and the med kits are fairly inexpensive as well, as they will only rack you up a few hundred certs, as you probably only needed about level two or three. I think the most expensive part of this loader, honestly, is the NS44 Commissioner. You can use a different sidearm. I've just found that this helps the most. Well, I think that just about wraps up our loadout for today. So if you have any further questions or any suggested modification for this loadout, please feel free to comment down below, and I will see what you have to say. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, please feel free to leave a rating, and thanks for watching.